Parker coined the term battered woman syndrome and defined it as a group of usually transient psychological symptoms that are frequently observed in a particular recognizable pattern in women who report having been physically, sexually, and or seriously psychologically abused by their male domestic partners. Define this syndrome as a model that was developed in order to describe the mindset and emotional state of a battered woman. A battered woman is a woman who experienced at least two complete battering cycles. There are four stages of battered woman syndrome. Stage is denial. Denial occurs when a victim of abuse is unable to admit and acknowledge that they are being subjected to domestic violence. Second stage may be guilt. Victims of domestic violence will experience feelings of extreme guilt and disgrace. They will believe that they have caused the abuse that the perpetrator has subjected them to. In many cases, the offender will convince their victim that they are forced to resort to physical violence in order to punish the victim for their negative characteristics. This stage may be enlightenment. This occurs when a victim of abuse recognizes that they are not to blame for the abuse that they are experiencing. They will begin to understand that no one deserves to be subjected to domestic violence no matter what characteristics they possess. Disability may be the fourth stage. Once the victim of abuse recognizes that the domestic violence they are suffering from is the fault of their abuser, it is only a matter of time before these victims understand the importance of escaping their current environment. There are four general characteristics of the syndrome which include The woman believes that the violence is or was her fault. The woman has an inability to place responsibility for the violence elsewhere. The woman fears for her life and or for her children's lives. The woman has an irrational belief that the abuser is omnipresent or omniscient. Domestic violence between parents does affect children. Children who are exposed to abuse may become fearful and experience anxiety. Always on guard, watching and waiting for the next event that may occur. They never know what will trigger the abuse and therefore never feel safe. They tend to always be worried for themselves, their mother, and their siblings. They may feel worthless and powerless. Intimate partner violence is the leading cause of female homicide and injury-related death during pregnancy. There are three women that are murdered by a current or former male partner. Every nine seconds, a woman is beaten by her partner. One in four women will be victims of severe violence by a partner in their lifetime. 38,028,000 women have experienced physical intimate partner violence in their lifetime. 4,774,000 women experience physical violence by an intimate partner every year. Women between the ages of 18 to 24 are most commonly abused by an intimate partner. 1. Example of a woman who suffered from battered woman syndrome is Mary Winkler. The morning of March 22, 2006, Mary Winkler panicked after her husband, Matthew Winkler, put his hand over their premature baby's mouth and nose to stop it from crying. She calmed the baby down, went to the kitchen to make coffee, then entered a what's known as a dissociative episode. This is a condition when people sort of stay outside themselves. She remembers hearing a gunshot that morning, but does not remember fatally shooting her husband. Prosecutors described Matthew as a devoted husband, father, and preacher. 
gunned down by a panicked wife after she made a mess of their family finances. However, Matthew was emotionally and sexually abusive. Mary describes that he got upset over everything she did and would try to force her into doing sexual acts that she was not comfortable with. Mary was recorded showing signs of self-blame after the incident, saying, I never spoke up. It's a two-way thing. I just kept it all inside. There have also been other cases where women used the battered woman syndrome as justification for killing their abusers. 